On today's show, find out how Stuart and I didn't make a fortune hunting for diamonds in South Africa. Weave a visit from some flying Frenchmen. And we'll be launching a giant sunflower competition. Plus, some of the world's most famous puppets are facing their toughest challenge. Find out more in a moment. You can be sure somewhere, somehow, an attack is being planned. Hello and welcome to Blue Peter. This might look like a Mr. on Trap, but it is in fact a sun awareness machine. Now, some of the most famous TV action heroes ever to save the planet are up for grabs. They're daring, they're tough, they're secret agents with star quality. But are they fab enough to fetch thousands when they're auctioned next week? Stop the car. Captain Scarlet, he's indestructible. But will he really go for £18,000? I never could resist a long shot. Marina, beautiful, silent, undersea princess. How will the Stingray team manage without her? I kind of hope she might decide to become a permanent member of our crew. Tough look, Troy. What about Joe 90, nine-year-old genius? His incredible specs read the brain patterns of the world's greatest minds. It's terrific. And super cool Lady Penelope, International Rescue's undercover agent. She could raise an amazing £25,000. But she'll have to go to a new home. Oh dear, how inconvenient. The puppet heroes of Stingray, Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet and Joe 90 never let strings get in the way of a good car chase or a flashy spy gadget. Their explosive adventures were created over 30 years ago by Jerry and Sylvia Anderson. And though the miniature superstars have been out of work for decades, they're even more precious to fans and collectors now than the day they first lit up the small screen. If only you could just step into the lovely Lady Penelope's drawing room and congratulate her on a mission accomplished. You're just in time for tea, Tim. Sylvia Anderson, the original and the real Lady Penelope. Thanks very much for bringing in these all. puppets from the TV series themselves. Absolutely. Is this the last time they'll all be sitting around together for tea? Yes, Tim, I'm afraid that's true, oh. uh, because they're going for auction next very week. Very privileged moment, then. It is indeed, yes. Now, they are obviously stars and they're in very good condition, but why are they supposed to fetch such high price at the auction next week? Well, I think because they're icons. Um, they are, you know... People remember them from the 60s, and they, they are original puppets from the series. And there's lots of fans out there. Oh, yes. We've had calls from people all over the world, so I think it's going to be a very big day. Next Tell time. me about Lady Penelope, because she looks a real star, and very familiar as well. Yes, a little bit. Uh, she was modelled on me by Mary Turner, the puppeteer who created her, and uh, she modelled her on me, and I didn't know it. And you've got the same dresses as well? Absolutely, yes. This is also going in. Tell me the about auction. her hair, being very careful with it, but it looks lifelike. It is. It's real hair. It's a, it's a wig, and her eyes are made for you know sort of glass eyes. And what it's about her humans. teeth? Oh, her teeth. Yes, the real teeth. I mean, real well, teeth. well, I mean, false, real false teeth. So, a dentist has made a pair of gnashes for her as absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. That's absolutely yes, amazing. Very right. Very right. Well, the puppet starred in some amazing action sequences, just like this one from Perils of Penelope. Three. Well, she was very cool about that, wasn't she? Oh, absolutely. She's always the lady, you know. She's a She's real star. Absolutely, absolutely. How did you make the movements of the puppets seem lifelike? Well, I'm glad you think so, Tim, because in actual fact, they never learn to walk properly. That's a little <laughs> secret. So we I sort of polite. we cheated on that. But we tried to do everything else to make them look realistic. Well, you mentioned everything else because the eyes and the mouth were quite realistic, weren't they? How did you match up the mouth movement with the actual voice of the actor? Absolutely. Well, I can demonstrate here. I can take off the back of Captain Scarlet's Ow. head. Is it going to hurt? No, no, it's quite painless, actually. He's quite used to this. And so by moving a little gizmo here, you will get the eye movement. Right. What about his mouth? Can and we see his mouth, mouth move? The mouth there he goes, there's his there, mouth. There, absolutely. Well, can we take a look behind that? Yes, and I'll turn, I'll turn him head. around for you. Being very careful. And you'll see. And these are the little gizmos in the head. 
and that's for the mouth there. Absolutely fascinating to see inside Captain Scarlet's head. Yes. Here at Blue Peter, we're very proud of the Tracy Island that Anthea made several years ago. And, uh, it's you know, It is, isn't very it? Good. It's very, very, it's very good. And very this good. is one of our original Tracy Islands. What was your Tracy Island made out of? Well, I have to tell you, uh, it was a recycled Tracy Island, if you like. We used the tops of um, fairy liquids, um, we used yogurt pots, so it was everything really that we could lay our hands on. And for the rockets, we used um, cigar tubes. So your Tracy Island isn't that much different from our <laughs> Tracy really. Island, really? No, no, not really. Just use what you've got around at the time. And I see there's Fab One there, too. Yeah, Fab One, there he is, put down at the bottom. Now, you've worked with most of the puppets on all the TV shows yes. for lots and lots yes. of years. Yes. Did you ever treat them as stars? Well, we did. We, they came, we came to believe them as stars. And I think we've got a little friend here that's Bonnie, you just be careful. There's about right. 35,000 oh. pounds there. <laughs> One wag of the tail and it's all gone. <laughs> and sometimes they behaved, you know, like real, real movie stars because we'd get set up for a show. Uh, for a shot, and then suddenly one of the wires would break, they would collapse, and it was kind of like, you know, a big movie star having a tantrum. It's just like Diane Stewart and myself. Bonnie, don't step on the puppets. Oh, dear. Go over there, Bonnie, you naughty dog. Bonnie. Dad. Thank you very much for coming in, and good luck with the auction next week. Thank September you very the 19th? Much. September the 19th, at 12 o'clock. Great. Okay.